So if, if no one has any questions, then we'll be, we'll be beginning with this. Uh, and the, the idea will be to you know, simulate how LDRs and LEDs work um, in, in real life. And um, so basically if um, a certain threshold is, ex yes. And everyone can hear me just fine, right? Okay. While uh, some, some people are settling in, please do open your MATLAB. Your MATLAB homepage should look like this. And um, before, before we start, another thing that would make this smoother is please create um, a, a folder for, today, for today's files. So you, you can name it whatever you want, um, but try to keep um, it, like uh, the, the file path, try to keep it short, like just put in the D drive, don't put D drive, your name, another folder, another folder, don't do that. Just try to keep the file path short. And once you do that, um, can you navigate to that folder? Um, so for example, um, if I have created a folder and I wanna navigate to that using the, using the MATLAB homepage, the MATLAB directory, I would just be clicking on browse for folder and then wherever you've created your folder, please select that and click on select folder. So then in, in this left column, that folder should appear. And once everyone has created a folder for today and you're on the homepage, please click on this Simulink over here. And that will be bringing up a pop-up like this. And then please click on blank model after you're done creating your folder. So then a page, page like this should open up. Okay, so the, the, the first step uh, that we will be doing is designing the control algorithm to control the LDR sensor and the LED sensor, okay? So for the beginning, you, you all can just follow me step by step. I, I want you all to try double clicking on the screen. So when you double click, something like this will appear. Yes, and then please search for chart. And this should appear and you can click on enter and you can, you can select this chart. Once again, double click on the screen, search for chart. And you will see this and then you can select it and this, this should appear. It should be a big yellow box. And all the, um, all the labels of the boxes will be written on the bot bottom of the, of the, of the block in, in blue. And uh, since uh, many of us have not used this software before, I would recommend having the name of the block at the below so you can, you can, uh, you can always refer back to it. So the way we do that is please click on the block and then you will see three dots and then you can click on show block name. So once I do that, I can always see that this, this chart from blue font, it has turned into black and now it's permanent. So it, it will not go anywhere. So when I ask you, please go to chart, you can directly just refer and you can, you can click on this then, okay? Everyone following until now? Has everyone uh, gotten the name of the, of the box, which is chart in black? Now, double click on this yellow box. And you will enter a yellow screen, as you can see on my, on, on, on my screen. Once we are all on this yellow screen, so once we are on this yellow screen, please click on, on this button over here. When you, when you hover over that button, it will say state. Click on this one and drag and drop it, okay? And you, you, can, you can resize it. And when, when, when you click on this, you will see a question mark over here. We can, we can all name it controller. Once we are at this point, we will be importing two more charts. Okay, I mean, I mean two more states. And by that, I mean these two buttons. So we will have two more. And you can, you can place this inside this one. So one and two, like this. 
So you can have a big box which says controller, okay? And then two small boxes inside the controller. And once again, to, to name that box, you click on the box and you will see the question mark. And over there, when you click on the question mark, you can name it. So I am going to name this off. And by off, I mean the off state over here. The off state of the LED. That's, that's what we're going for over here. And for this one, I am going to name it on. Don't worry right now if, if it shows um, a yellow warning sign, it's supposed to right now because we haven't connected the blocks together. Yes, so, so this, this arrow over here just means default state. So when we are working with hardware, we want it to, when we started, when we initiate the hardware, we want it to stay at off, right? We don't want to stay at, uh, uh, to be at on. If you want it to be on, you just change this default arrow and you bring it over here. And again, everything in MATLAB Simulink will be dragging and dropping. It's the same mechanism. So you want to move anything, you, you just move this arrow and you bring it over here. You, you can try that. I, I bring this arrow and I can drop it wherever I want. So for those of you that don't have this arrow, let's say yours looks like this, right? If you don't have any default arrows, we click on this arrow on the left over here and we come connect it to the off box. Okay, so moving on. Now we will be connecting the off and the on boxes together. Okay, so I want you to click on the edge of the off box. When you, when you click on the edge like this, you will see that a plus sign appears. And then using your left mouse click, you can make an arrow like this and you can connect the box. And the same thing, you can go from the on box, the edge of the on box, it will make a plus sign again. Using your left mouse click, you can drag and connect to the off box because we want it to alternate between the on and off states. So that's what we're doing over here. And we, we, can, we can move these arrows like this, however you want. So it should, it should look like this for everyone. Now, we will be defining what off means. So we will now be giving it variable. So he, here, when we say off and on, we are referring to the LED, which we will work with later, okay? But off basically means right, LED zero. And this is the syntax we need to follow. We need to add a semicolon after we define a variable, just like many, many coding languages. So for off, we define LED zero, okay? And then for on, we can define LED equals to the brightness that we will set. So I can just define another variable, which is brightness, like this. How many of you have used state flow before? Please raise your hand. How many of you? No one. Everyone's first time today using state flow. Okay. So to define the conditions, right? When do we want from to go, the LED to go from off to on state when it exceeds a certain value, right? That's when we want the LED to turn on. 
And in, in very basic terms, that basically means when the room becomes dark, then the LED should turn on, right? But we need to define variables to do these things. And what will be detecting that the room is dark? An LDR sensor, right? An LDR sensor is an analog sensor that detects you know, the surrounding light. And based on that, if the value of the LDR exceeds a certain threshold, then we want the light to turn on. If it doesn't reach that threshold, then we, we want the light to stay off, right? So now to define the condition, click on the arrow. This is the arrow that goes from off to on, okay? When you click on the arrow, you will see a question mark. Once again, when you click on the arrow, you will see a question mark. Please click on that question mark like this. And you will see, you know, three things appearing, which is something like a lightning bolt, a parentheses, and like, you know, brackets. Once again, clicking on the arrow, the question mark sign, and you will see this. And now we'll be defining another variable, which is the ADC, the analog value of the LDR. I'm naming it ADC. When this exceeds a certain threshold, this is the condition that we are giving it. Again, you can, you can move this around wherever you want. Everything works with drag and drop over here. So since uh, moving from off to on is, we want, we want the system to do that when the analog value of the LDR exceeds a certain threshold, right? So what should be on to off? Can, tell, can someone tell me the condition? Below the threshold, yeah. So this should be less than below or equal to the threshold. That's when we want it to go back to off state, right? So again, we do the same thing, clicking on the arrow, click on the question mark, and this time we define ADC less than or equal to the threshold. And you can, you can move it here so it's not confusing that this one is for on to off, and this one is for off to on. Now does everyone's state flow chart looks like this? And does it make sense so far for all of you? Any questions? So for this part, we are done with the control algorithm. It's just this simple, that's it, right? So now the next step is you can go back to your main simulating page by just clicking the untitled button over here. And this is untitled because we haven't given it a file name yet, right? We will all need to give this a file name when we try to run this model later. So you can go back and it should look like this back to the home page. So all of you must have chart. You can feel free to name whatever you want. I want to name it controller. Now, we have defined three variables in the chart. LED, ADC, oh, uh, sorry, um, yes, uh, four variables, LED, ADC, threshold, and brightness, right? The, which one is the output and which one is the input variable? Can someone tell me that? We have four variables, again, LED, ADC, brightness, threshold. Which ones of them are output variables? Which ones of them are input variables? So now we have to define these, these variables, right? We've given it names. Now we have to also define it, define it um, on, on the chart. I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. So once again, when you, when you click on the edge of the chart, right? You will see a plus sign like this. 
And when you click on it, you will see one. And you will see create in signal port. There's two of them. There's create out signal and there's create in signal. Right now we're defining the input variable. So you click on this, click on this, and it should look like this. And then now we can give this input variable a name. So we're defining three of them, right? ADC, the first one. So we defined ADC. Now we repeat this process for the other two, okay? Same, same process. Go to the edge of the box. Click on the edge of the box. Create the in-signal port. And remember, the, the, the variables should match what you have given in the chart. If you have given ADC as all uppercase or all capital letters inside the chart, it should match outside of the chart. There should be no difference. It should be identical. Yeah, if, if, if your screen, by the way, looks like this or something like that, you can just press spacebar and it will auto adjust the screen. Up, down, you mean like, like, like this? So ju just drag and drop. And once, once we do the input signal port, we also do one output. So that time we go on the outside of the box, the other side, do the same thing, the plus sign. And this time it's not create in signal port, it's going to be create out signal port. And we click on this, same thing. And we define LED. Another thing I forgot to mention, please, for those who are not using mouse, it'll be very easy for you to navigate state flow if you have a mouse. So please don't try to use your trackpad. It'll be much harder for you. Because everything over here in MATLAB Simulink and what we're going to do is going to be drag and drop. It's going to be harder for you to operate from your trackpad. Now it's, it's time to give some, some inputs for these you know, variables that we've created, ADC, threshold, brightness, and LED, right? So to give some inputs, we are now going to make use of some visual components, okay? The first step, double click on the screen. This, this process is used when you want to import some component from the MATLAB Simulink library. You can just double click over here. Another way to also import, you can go to this library browser. And it will open the entire list of components. For, for, for me personally, that's too much work. So I just, I just search for the component because I know the component names. So once you know the component names, you can just double click over here and you can search. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna um, pause over here for now. There's some, uh, one more agenda that we need to complete um, because there's a deadline for that, right? So that will just, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to this very soon.